1932, two young women, Dorothy Faye Little and Ruth Hill McGregor, had a brilliant idea, which was the essence of the chamber music experience, the communication, the trust, the responsibility, and the love of something very, very deep and beautiful. Those important tenets of the chamber music experience were a way to live your life. And if you add to that beautiful physical surrounding, great food, lively conversation, you've really created the most perfect place for young people to develop, both as musicians and as people. The other thing I'd say is that there is a kind of a magic to the pace that Bunny and Ruth figured out 80 some years ago about starting with the excitement on Monday morning of getting your piece and finding out who's in your group and who your coach is and working very intensely during the week with coaches but also learning to work independently and then having the incredible elation of the concert. There, there's just nothing like a Greenwood concert. Um, I think anybody who's been to one would agree with that. There's something about the love and respect and support for Greenwood concert that makes it very, very special. It's Greenwood magic. There's something about it uh, that is almost indescribable. You have to be here to understand it. And once you're here, it's palpable. In many ways, Greenwood looks just the way it looked in 1932. There's a beautiful, iconic main house. There's an old barn. There's the swimming pool that was actually here when the land was bought by the Littles in 1940. Tennis courts, uh, beautiful, beautiful landscape and views, and lots of little cabins dotting the landscape for practice. But even though I, I think that many alums who come say, oh, it looks exactly the same, We've added some wonderful things in the last few years. An absolutely gorgeous concert barn, which finally holds all the people who want to come to concerts and is acoustically quite wonderful. And just recently, a new kitchen and dining area open still to the air as our old dining area was. So we've improved, but in some very essential ways, we've stayed the same. And I think that's, that's maybe the core of Greenwood is that it changes in ways that kids change and have changed over the years and their capacity as musicians because of training has grown over the years, but in a very essential core way it has remained the same. And that I think is one of the beauties of the place, is that you can always find at Greenwood, no matter what generation you were here, that core of connection and communication and love of music and love of each other that makes it so special. Our faculty is quite amazing and extraordinarily connected to the kids. There's a really special relationship, uh, more relaxed, I think, than in most institutions, but a great sense of respect and understanding. The faculty comes back year after year. These are people who teach and play in New York and Boston and around the country in conservatories and music schools of music and they really choose to come back to Greenwood year after year because it is such an extraordinary place to be. As I always say, it's great kids at their best and as an educator, as a musician, as a teacher, you can't ask for anything better than that. And to be part of this environment that is so special is something that we all as adults also treasure. We all eat together, the meals are a lively and wonderful time. Kids play sports when they have a free evening and very often faculty or staff will join in with them. There's a real feeling of total community here. But really it, it starts, its core is chamber music and how you relate to other people in chamber music and taking that out into the rest of your life. We do 
emphasize chamber music. It's the, at the core of what we do and how we connect to each other, but um, the orchestra is important as well and singing as well, and every concert includes the orchestra and the chorus. Such an important part of any musician's training, and their chamber music experience really speaks to how they play in orchestra and how they sing as well. It's amazing. They're such wonderful musicians, such wonderful people. I think that everything they do is affected by their experience with chamber music. In 1968, Bunny and Ruth, the directors of Greenwood, decided it would be a wonderful idea to start a junior session of the camp for kids ages 10 to 13. Because, well, for one thing, they loved working with that age group, and there weren't a lot of camps in the United States that provided wonderful chamber music experiences for kids that age. And they've created a timeless place. <laughs> I've been lucky enough to have been a camper, and then a counselor, and then faculty, and now the director of Junior Greenwood. So clearly, clearly it's a hard place to leave. <laughs> One of the things that makes Greenwood so special are the kids that come. They come from all over, and they come ready to participate in everything. They are very eager to learn and also to have fun and be part of the community. And we take a lot of pride in, in the community that we create here, and the kids are the, really the biggest part of that. And that. Some children have a lot of experience playing chamber music already, and some have not had any experience as of yet. And they come here and blossom as musicians. They love playing chamber music, and they are communicative with each other, and this is a place where kids really learn to listen and make beautiful music together. We know that they count down the days from one summer to the next, and they come back year after year. They cannot wait to come back, and we cannot wait to have them here. We're like a big family when we're all here together. Over the years, so many Greenwood alums have come to me and said, there's something about Greenwood that made me love music, love life, love people, and it's where it all began for me. And of course, for that to happen when you're a young person is incredibly valuable. And I think that is what makes Greenwood absolutely unique. There are many places that talented young musicians can go where they can play at a very high level and very intensely and learn a lot of music. But I don't know that you'd find any other place that quite has the magic of Greenwood that combines personal attention, a really relaxed family-like atmosphere, plus real excellence in performance. It's quite extraordinary and the many generations of people who've come here come back and say, this is the place where it all started for me uh, in so many ways. So you kind of can't beat that. <laughs>